Today on Simple Food, Simple Life, I'm going to show you how to make chicken rice soup with tomato. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make tomato chicken rice soup, or you can call it chicken rice soup with tomato. This is something that I have made for a very long time. It's very easy. The ingredients are accessible, very simple. This is a nutritious soup. And you know, we're coming up on cold weather. And um, I think it's kind of nice to have go-to soups in our um, uh, repertoire that we can use that are simple and family-pleasing. So what I have here is... Excuse me. I've got about eight ounces of raw chicken. Now this is from a chicken breast that I cut up. And if you didn't see the video on how I did this and how I cut um, bone-in chicken breasts to get the most out of them, I will link that below so you can go see how I did this. But I weighed this out for you because I wanted you to know how much there is here. So there's about eight ounces. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this to my kettle. And in the kettle, I've got um, a little bit of oil going here. Now, this is a one-pot meal, okay? It's a one-pot meal. So I diced up this chicken, and what it is, it's just little scraps and bits and pieces uh, from the chicken. You'll see that if you go to the video. And then I also used um, a portion of a... Uh, the end piece of one of the chicken breasts and so that gave me about eight ounces of chicken see here about eight ounces of chicken and I've got my burner up on high because I want to get this chicken going and um, then I will add the rest of the ingredients now let me show you what I've got for the rest of the ingredients I've got a whole onion this is just a white onion now if I would have had green onions I would have used the green onion but I didn't, so I'm going to use a white onion. It works perfectly fine. Just the green onion looks prettier, I think. Um, and I've got um, three or four uh, medium size, small size carrots uh, sliced up. Now these are done in the medallion slices, and then I sliced my celery on the diagonal. So I've got a container of those all ready to go. Uh, right here is about four cloves of garlic that um, I chopped up. Um, pretty fine. Uh, if you don't have garlic, use garlic powder. If you don't um, have garlic powder and you want to just use, a lot of times you know you can purchase a jar of garlic. It's already done for you. Easy peasy, use that. Okay, I'm going to get my chicken stirred up here. <clears throat> and very important, I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. I think my pepper is about done in this. I better grab some more, huh? And I'm always going to add my salt because, you know, <clears throat> salt makes food taste good. <laughs> I'm grab a can of pepper out here. I'm not going to take the time to fill up my, my pepper shaker right now. So I'll just keep this out and I can use it. Alright. So I'm doing this and getting my chicken going. Now then, now I'm going to add in my garlic. So I'm going to put the garlic in there. And I've got my chicken juices going. I'm not concerned about um, my garlic burning, right? And i got to grab one of the most important ingredients. And that is my... <clears throat> my chicken broth. Now, this is chicken broth that I made, but, um, and if you want to know how I did that, I'll put a link to that video also so you can check it out. Easy way to make chicken broth, I'm not kidding you. And uh, so I have a quart of that. Now, oh, that's smelling good. Now I'm going to add in my carrots and my celery that I have all cut. And I still have my burner up on high. And you know what? I'm not leaving this. 
It's perfectly fine the way it is. But I want to attend to it and make sure that it gets um, nicely, nicely, nicely done. I see some of my celery here that doesn't want to come apart. we got to help it. <laughs> All right. Oh, this smells really, really good. All right. Now, because I put my celery in, I'm going to add a little more salt. I'm going to do a little more pepper, just a little bit. And that's what I talk about, you know, layers of seasoning. So, I've got this going, and now I'm going to put in my onion. Now, you may think that a whole onion seems like a lot, but you know what? Really, it isn't. It's perfectly fine. And that's going to cook down. It's going to impart a lot of flavor to our chicken rice soup with tomato. Now then, what I have done, I'll show you here, I while this is cooking down, I have made a pot of rice. And um, I'll put a link to that video too because I show you how to make absolutely perfect rice. And I'll put a link to that down below in the description <clears throat> so you can check it out. And it takes all the stress out of making rice. Now, this amount of rice here is actually two cups of dried rice and once it's cooked you end up with about four cups so I'm going to probably use about a cup of this the rest I'll put in the freezer and use it at another time rice freezes beautifully and speaking of freezing just so you know that this soup freezes very well it really really does so, now that we've got that going, you see what that looks like there? See that? How good that is? And it's amazing how much chicken you get out of 8, eight ounces. So that means you could actually take uh, a chicken breast and dice it up. Or you can take um, a half one, just depending on how big they are. You can actually make this pot of soup with just 8 ounces of chicken. Because that's what I have here. Okay? Now... The oil that I use, just a little vegetable oil, you can use olive oil if you like. That's perfectly fine. You have no problem with that. And keep in mind, too, that this same method can be used to make a, um, a chicken noodle soup with tomato simply by pre-cooking your egg noodles ahead of time. Just buy a package of noodles, cook them according to the package directions, cook them, and... Um, um, but the thing that I do, which keeps my soup from clouding up when I use the noodles, I rinse them, and that gets some of the starch off, and then I add them a little at a time to my soup, and then my soup doesn't get cloudy. It still stay, stays nice and brothy. Now then, because you know if you don't rinse them, they'll start sucking up the broth, and you don't want to do that. But anyway, that's for another day. I'll probably show you how to do that someday. Now, I'm going to add my just one can of diced tomatoes in with my soup now with my vegetables now you can add any um, uh, tomatoes that you want uh, I know a lot of times they have those like smaller dice that's fine these are fine I don't have any issue with it I've even used whole tomatoes and just broken them apart when I added them so I'm going to do these now, and i got these going in here. Alright, now I'm going to add my chicken broth. Now, this is just chicken broth that I made myself. And like I said, I'll show you the video how I did that. Uh, you can see how thick and rich that is, and if you follow my instructions on that video... Uh, you'll you'll be able to make beautiful, um, beautiful broth. I'm going to because this is so rich. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that. So let me grab some water, and I'm just going to shake my jar a little bit. How's the weather in you guys? In you guys' part of the country, you know, here it's not raining right now, but it has been raining here in Iowa, and um, 
it's been kind of chilly, but you know what? It's October, and you know what that means. We're heading towards winter. So let me taste this for seasoning real quick, and we will see where we're at on this. Oh, yum. I think we're pretty good there. I might add a little more salt after I put my rice in. Now I have to bring this to a boil. I'm going to get it boiling vigorously, cook some of those um, vegetables until they're tender, and then we will come. I'm going to probably put a lid on it, and then um, I'm turn it on low, and then I'm going to come back, and we'll see where we're at, and then I will show you the next and final step to the beautiful chicken rice soup with tomato. So, don't go away. We will be back. And while you're waiting, why don't you subscribe? Because, you know, you may not have anything else to do. So, because I know that you're captivated by this process, right? <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Okay, let's see where we're at right now. Now, this has been simmering for... Oh, I would say probably 10, maybe 15 minutes. And let me show you what it looks like. Now, what I'm looking for and what you're going to look for is the doneness of the carrots. You want the carrots to be tender, okay? So that's what we want. And um, then you will know that it's ready to add your rice. And this is what I recommend. Do not add your rice until you are just almost ready to serve it. Um, right towards the end, then you're going to put in the rice. But I want to show you what this looks like. You see how full of vegetables and goodness that is? It's really, really good. And it's surprisingly a large amount of chicken, considering how little chicken actually went in there, right? Okay. So I'm, I've got this on low, and I'm just going to let this go for another 5 or 10 minutes. I want to make sure that my carrots are really nice and tender, and that my celery is tender. And um, then I'll come back, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. And also, in between time, that rice I was telling you about, I took the rice, I stored it in these plastic bags, the zip bags, freezer bags, and I just put white rice on there and, and the date, and I put the content, how much. So there's three cups of rice in these bags. So I'm going to lay these flat in the freezer, and when you do, um, they will <clears throat> be easy to take out once they're frozen. You can take them out and break them up and take out as much rice as you want. Easy, easy, easy. You can see how easy this soup would be to make um, with when you have a little bit of prepped ingredients. All right, we're going to come back in a few minutes, and we'll add the rice, and I'll show you what we got. All right, we're back. My carrots seem to be just right, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a few red pepper flakes. Now, this is optional. If you don't want to put that in, you don't have to. I think it adds some nice little zip to the soup. And another thing I like to put in at the end, I like to put in a little bit of dried parsley. It brings a nice color to the soup. And the spring onions or the green onions, they kind of do that too because when you use the greens in there from the onions, they add that nice little touch. Now, I'll tell you one thing that you can add which really makes your soup taste good and that is some dried basil. You can put a little bit of that in at the end and or at the beginning and it really brings a good flavor to your soup. That's up to you. All right, now here we go. See what we have here? Got some nice soup. Now I'm going to add my, bring it in a little bit closer here. I'm going to add my my uh, rice. Now then, when I add my rice, I just turn my stove off. No big deal. And what I have here is I have one cup of rice. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add that in nicely. And um, 
That's really it. That's all you do. See? Now, I like to add the rice in, like I, I said. Oh, my neighbor's. My, can you hear that? My neighbor is starting up his truck. That is the most massive truck. I do not know how that person manages to even get in that truck. I would need a ladder, an elevator, or something. It is huge. I bet when he replaces the tires on that truck, it must cost $1,000 a tire. I swear. It's huge. Amazing, isn't it? All right. Oh, I digress. I'm off the track. Anyway, if you hear that noise, that's what it is. Okay. Do you see what this looks like? I'm going to dish up a bowl of this so you can see it smells, re it smells really good, too. All right. Now, if you don't have homemade chicken broth, that's not a big deal. I mean, just use what you like from the store. That's what I would do. If I didn't have um, a quart of that, I'd just use something from the store. Make it easy on yourself. Make it simple for yourself, okay? All right, now, let's take a look. And you can see what this looks like. See how nice it is? This is a very, very hearty soup. There's rice, there's chicken, tomatoes, carrots, there's uh, celery and onion. I call this the healing soup. When I make this, the chicken uh, with either the noodles or the rice, I call it healing soup because that really is what it is. If you're feeling bad or you have someone in your family who's not feeling well, serve them a bowl of this and they will feel better in no time. Okay? All right, listen. I hope you give this a try. I love you. And you know what? If I can do it, anybody can do this, right? Okay, so try some chicken rice soup with tomato. I promise you that you are absolutely going to love it. Okay? All right, and you just remember one thing. That little is much when God is in it. Okay. All right. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to follow those links below, and I'll put a link to the Facebook page too, okay? Because you get stuff on there you may not get here, right? Okay. Love you. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to click on the links below to find more good stuff from Simple Food, Simple Life. And check out the Facebook page. I think you're going to like it.